Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nasty. Today I'm going to be showing you how I like to make money in reserve. Well, at least one of the ways I make money, which is by doing loot runs. Uh, whenever you're low on cash or you want a low risk, high reward way to make money, loot runs are a fantastic option for you to do. And reserve is one of the most uh, loot dense maps in the game, uh, meaning there is a wide variety of loot and it's spread across most of the map it, uh, as opposed to being in one enclosed location such as like uh, the resorts on shoreline or the dorms in customs. So loot runs are great uh, if you want to just get a bit of money, maybe try to avoid a bit of PvP if possible. Uh, but also these can be done fully geared if you want to do PvP and also do the loot run. So I'm going to take you on three loot runs, one of which involves the Red Rebel and the Power Cord, and the other two only require keys. I'm going to put up the list of what keys you need in just a moment as well. And also guys, before we jump into the video, I do stream live over on Twitch. It is twitch.tv forward slash nestgg. If you want to come hang out and watch me play uh, Escape the Tarkov Live or other games as well, uh, you're free to do so. Drop a follow, that'd be uh, greatly appreciated. And if you uh, do like the video, please remember to like the video. If you want to subscribe, that would also help me out greatly as well. But without further ado, let's jump straight in. Thank you guys. Okay, so moving on to what we will need for these loot runs. You don't actually need much if you're going to purely just be looting the map. I like to bring in a black rock and a pistol of some sort, just in case you run into a couple of scavs, you can take them down. If you want to, you can also bring an armor. Um, the reason why we're only using a black rock and no backpack is because one of our main exits is going to be the sewer manhole. And you cannot exit the sewer manhole if you have a backpack on. So you have all the space to fill up here which is plenty of space if you're looking to make money only uh, looting the map. However, if you do want to go in geared, you can obviously do so yourself. Uh, that is up to you. You can still use the loot run and also go in for PvP as well. But this is mainly going to be for people who are looking for uh, low risk and high reward. So basically going in with very little gear and coming out hopefully with a lot of high tier tech supplies and military supplies. These are some of the keys that you will need. You don't need to have all of these keys, however, a couple of them are very important, like these two cages down the bottom have military and text bonds. Uh, some of these keys are not necessarily needed, like the Orbi AK. This is the tech room that is in uh, Black Bishop. So you don't actually need this key. You can jump down from the balcony, and I can show you guys how to do that. But if, if you have a lot of money and you want to spare it, then obviously you can go ahead and buy this key. So moving on, um, let's get into the raid. All right, looks like we spawned on the west hand side of the building, or west hand side of the map, should I say. So when we get to spawn, is actually quite a lucky spawn. We spawn right beside the west mat room. I will like to jump inside here and use the Orb. I believe it's the Orb VO. So Orb VO to open up this door. Inside here, you can get various cases. That's, that's a documents case, various guns. You can also get good ammunition on the ground. Uh, you can get gold chains and random streamer items spawn on top of these tables here. Once you finish looting that, I will jump back out the window and come back the way we came and make a beeline for the hermetic hill. So I'll show you this on the map as well. So we're going to run straight over the hermetic hills. Pay attention to your left as there is a spawn around this area over there. So just be careful in case anybody is on the hill waiting for you. Also be careful of the K buildings as Scav Boss does tend to spawn here. This is actually one of the safer routes that you can take. So I like to go down underneath Hermatic. This is the Hermatic entrance for players who might be new. In here and we're going to loot all four of the cages. So I'm going to put up which key is for each cage. So just so you guys know, it's these four keys down the bottom. Orbi, PSP1, PSP82, PSP81, and PSP2. So that those should go on top of each other like that. I would loot every single one of these cages, guys. You can get, uh, even from the ration supply, cases, uh, ration supply crates, you can get sugar, which is obviously going to net you a good chunk of money. Condensed milk as well, it's about 15k a slot. Akamaria is just great to have outside of raids for getting your hydration up. Also, on top of the boxes, you will also see uh, ration supplies as well. So loot all these crates, crates, guys. There should be about four crates, three to four crates in each cage. If you get a technical supply crate, these are the best ones you can get. Obviously, you can get cyclones. You can also get graphics cards. 
you can pretty much get any technical spawn, any uh, tech battery item spawn. So once we've looted that cage, we'll go over to the, to the left and loot this one. Again, loot all the cases in here. Medical supply crates do have a very small chance of spawning a Ledex. This one spawned an Ophthalmoscope, which is very rare as well. It's about 100k. Filters are great. Fuel conditioner is great. And again, just loot the last cage. Coffee is 30k, so that's pretty good. It is also helpful to know the prices of items so you don't end up, uh, you know, carrying out a lot of junk that you may not necessarily want to carry out. Okay, once you're done looting these crates, we're going to exit. We're going to go to the right hand side. So we came in from there. We're actually going to go to the left from where we came in. So facing the way we came in, we go left. This is going to exit us on the opposite side of the K buildings. Run up, check your left, make sure nobody's about to shoot you in the head. And then we go right towards the knight buildings. This is white knight. Careful because Gluhar can spawn here, he can spawn here, or he can spawn in black knight as well. He can also spawn in the K buildings, but generally he will not be on this side of the K building. So you, you'll need to look out for the, the two black knights, or the black knight and white knight. Inside here you've got... Random spawns, you've got morphine spawn, you also have in this building you've got toolbox spawns, intel spawns on this table here, intel spawns on top of this cabinet here. Uh, moving on, I like to loot these two jackets if you can, they can get some good keys. I don't loot this whole building because we're going to go into armory next. So in the armory you've got spawns at the back of this uh, truck, you can find sugar there. You can find fuel in and around the, the wall here. Also find sugar on top of this table here. Uh, you can loot this rucksack. You can get fuel conditioning from rucksacks. So I always try to loot rucksacks whenever I feel the need or an off seashell, which is also very lucky as well. And then we're going to open up the armory. This is D or B S T key. Inside here, you got a chance to get tank spawns, like the one right here. Uh, now, obviously, you will need a backpack to carry this out, or if you have the Epsilon case, uh, the Epsilon pouch, sorry, you can fit this into your Gamma. Uh, but if you do not have that, you will need a backpack. So if you kill a Scav, or if you just bring a backpack in with you for the raid, you can do that. However, I don't usually bring in backpacks for these loot runs because I like to use the sewer manhole at the end of this one. So you do have good ammo that spawns on this desk right here. You also have the OFC, uh, OFZ shells, pardon me, that spawn all around the top of the cases. You've got two grenade cases here. You've got good attachments that spawn inside this uh, crate right here. Couple of weapon cases on top of this truck. You've got another big weapon case there as well. Yeah, so this room can actually net you a substantial amount of money if you're able to carry out the tank battery. And also you can get OFC shells, which are worth about 130k, so they're worth a lot of money as well. Uh, yeah, it is always going to be up to chance what you get from each room. However, this is one of the better rooms I found in, in uh, reserve. Once you finish this room here, I like to run through this last small concrete building just outside of Armory. There is two jackets that spawn in here. Loot both of these. Sugar and other uh, battery items can spawn on this table and the shelves here. So I'll loot them as well. Once you're done, fuel can spawn here if you don't if you have another four slot and you want to get some fuel. And you can extract here without a backpack. Alright guys, welcome back. As you can see, some things are different. Uh, we have had patch 12.8 just come out, which means there's some new things added to the game. One of which being a compass, which is fantastic. It's now easy to tell which way is north, which way is west, south, 
east. Obviously, as you can see, we spawned on the east side of the map here. So let's crack on with the video as we would do normally. Now, as we run, we're going to go straight towards Black Bishop. Just be careful. There is a spawn directly to your right. They can spawn up on the hill right there. And there's also a spawn towards Dome. They can spawn on the hills up there. And they will most likely be coming down the hill towards Black Bishop as it is a very high traffic area. Because it has the Mac room in it. So we're going to fly in here as, as quickly as we possibly can. Unlock the Mac room. This is Orb BK. And inside here you have a chance to get cases. So you got med cases. You can get uh, gold chains. You can get random streamer items. This might be one of the reasons why you might want to bring a backpack into some of these raids if you want to. Obviously, for this reason, we cannot carry the med case. So if you want to, you obviously, at your own risk, bring in a backpack. Uh, obviously, it'd be better if you were using the Red Rebel Extract to bring in a backpack so you can carry things out and extract safely. Or use the Detail Extract, which is down there, which I might cover in another video. But anyways, moving on, we're going to go out the front door. We're not going to loot any more of this building. We're going to go straight towards... Um, this is Black Bishop. So this is Black Pawn. This is Black Bishop. And again, there the team that is over to the right may be rushing this spawn because it does have the tech room, which has a chance to spawn graphics cards. So if you feel like you're not going to be the first one to this building, I would root, I would loot these rooms first. As you can get random military spawns atop of the railings there. And you can also get military spawns in here, such as this MGT. You can get filters, etc. Military controllers. Inside this room here, you have a chance to get a graphics card on this chair here, or beside the computer here. You can see there's a tech spawn right there. And in this room, you've got sugar spawns and um, other, other uh, food spawns there. You've got military spawns and electrical spawns that can spawn on top of this chair. Now that box and the floor also with a toolbox there and then while you're here you can jump out and you can check the tech room which may already be looted if you haven't already uh, if you're not the first person here you can find tetrises as i just found one there you can also find graphics cards uh, along the shelves here as we just found one here which is fantastic just, just got to show the loot and um, as we were about to leave this room you can loot these two computers here for flash drives there is two ways out of this out of this room you can jump back out the way you came or if you feel like it's unsafe to do so people are shooting at you if you run into this corner and jump you can actually jump out the back here as well which leads us both of these ways actually lead us uh, to our next destination anyways which is white bishop we're going to sprint into White Bishop. I always close the door behind me just in case somebody is uh, trying to shoot me in the back. You've got random loose uh, health spawns uh, like Salewas, Painkillers, Ibuprofen. You can even get Golden Star. Check the floor as well, guys, as well as the tables underneath here. Like, you can you can get spawns underneath the table. Underneath that table. Check the floors. Check the tables. Check everything, basically. Inside here, you've got a weapon crate if you want to loot that. You've got good ammo that spawns on top of this stack right here. You've also got a money spawn that spawns on top of the table right here, along with another weapon crate. And if you fly downstairs, there is a intel spawn that spawns on this table right here. Not here right now. I like to loot these rucksacks because you have a high chance of getting fuel conditioner and also the OFC shells. You didn't get either, either of those in that case, but you do have a good chance of getting them. Inside here, you can get uh, random food spawns as well. Condensed milk can spawn in there. Condensed milk can spawn on that as well. Inside here, you got more loose medical items. You've got a medical case. You can get pro uh, Propitol, Golden Star, Ibuprofen. Those are what you're looking for. They're very high value single slot items. And I'm going to go straight up to the second floor. Again, you've got loose items all along the floor, all along the shelves. All of which will be medical related. Inside these rooms, the front and back, you can get sugar that spawns up in here. Uh, energy drinks as well. And we're going to unlock this room here, which is the Orbi SMP. Inside here, you got a very small chance of getting a Ledex that spawns on this table here. I personally never found this. However, I have seen a video of somebody else finding it. So, I don't know if you can still find it or not. Maybe they removed it. 
However, I believe it spawns right there on that shelf. Again, I've never found it. In here, you've got food spawns that spawns on the beds. Food spawns and medical spawns on this counter. Food spawns and medical spawns in this room, such as sugar and condensed milk and also an ammo spawn, I guess, there as well. Uh, if you want to loot the roof, it's a bit risky. However, you can find good ammo up here along these cases here. BT or BS is what you're looking for generally. 120 rounds of BT or if you're lucky, you can get 30 rounds of BS, which is nice as well. And then once we're done in here, guys, you're going to run down, continue west. We're going to go out and we're going to start going towards the south. This is the king building. There are two ways to loot this building. You can loot it from the front or loot it from the back. Uh, so this is the, this is the main server room. Or the front server room, as you want to call it. Loot all these shelves. Look inside this thing here as well. You can actually find aces in there. Or other um, military and technical spawns. Check these shelves in here. Graphics card can spawn on top of this stack right here as well. I have also found power cord in here, which is kind of weird. But... Your results may vary. And you can come in here, come through tent room. Open up this door. And we're going to head through the hole in the wall. This is the back server room. And again, you've got technical spawns all along the shelves here. Cord is pretty valuable. Graphics card spawns, etc. Wires are actually not too bad for a single slot. I think they're about 10k. Check these shelves as well. Check these shelves. Check everything in there, guys. You're bound to find a couple of military spawns in here. Offline raids will always have different loot to main raids. That has been confirmed. But yeah. And then once you're done looting this, we're going to head out. And we're going to head towards the armory. Okay, so now we're at the armory. We're going to unlock the door. This is the Orbi ST key. Sorry, I forgot that for a second there. Put it up on screen in case you need it. Inside here, you have a chance to get the tank batteries. They can spawn all along these wooden stacks right here. You've got a couple of weapon crates. You can get OFC shells. They'll be scattered around the area as well. So check all the weapon crates. Check all top of the boxes. You've got good ammo that spawns most of the time here. Good attachments spawn inside this box right here and also some magazines you've got two grenade cases random weapon attachments and two large weapon crates at the back as well here so up on top of the truck here which you can jump up here and get and one in the back and once we are done looting armory you should be full at this point with some random assortment of technical high-end loot you come in here you have ration supplies on top of these uh, trays right here random barter items can spawn in here as well you can get sugar and also i like to loot these two jackets before we leave you can get good keys inside both of these jackets And once you're done, you can come out here. Fuel does spawn here as well, which is a nice uh, little bonus. And without a backpack, you can extract on the sewer manhole. So this is the third and final loot run. As you can see, we spawned on the furthest north point of the map, smack bang in the middle of the map. Uh, to our right is the west marked room that we covered in the first loot run. And to our left is the furthest east point of the map. Uh, over by the east tower that has a spawn in it as well so we're going to continue on and we're going to run straight towards black bishop again pay attention to your left here as there is a spawn you will often see teams running down the hills to the left there as this is a highly contested area you will see them silhouetting across the field right there So we're going to try and sprint our way up the back of this gate, up the metal rafters, 
into the wood here and into the balcony room. You can find good attachments on top of this box right here. Like we have a canted or K1 grip there. That's pretty good. If we are the first people here, I always like to jump into the server room first, as this has the highest concentration of good loot. You can find graphics cards in here. You can find Tetris in here. Fortunately, in this case, we did not find either of those. CPUs aren't too bad, though. Check these two computers for flash drives in the front of them. And once you're done looting this room, I like to jump out onto the red canister there to avoid hurting yourself. And we open up this room here, which is Orbi AM. I think I might have actually forgotten to open up this room in the last run, so apologies for that. On this desk here, you have good attachments as well as good magazines. You can get the PMAG 60s. You can find military spawns on this shelf and the shelf below it, like military cable. Inside these, you can find the HEPA filters, the large filters, fire steel, as we just found there. Intel spawns on top of this table right there. And I would just go ahead and loot everything in this room, including the jacket, to see, see if you can get any good keys. Once you're done looting bottom floor we're going to go back up to the third floor and we're just going to have a look on the tables here for military spawns and tech spawns graphics card can spawn on this chair here and other military spawns can spawn around the area in this room here or graphics card spawns on this table here or on top of uh, this table here beside the computer and the military spawns in the back of here as well And you have military and tech spawns at the back of these shelves as well. I like to avoid these last two rooms as I don't think they generally have any good loot in them. I guess you could loot the computers if you want to or if you're looking for some ration supplies you can loot them as well. But we won't do so. We're going to continue on and we're going to head over to Black Pond. I like to head down the stairs to avoid walking on the wood from the first floor. Come through the gym. I like to loot this rucksack as well. You have a high chance of getting um, fuel conditioner or the OFC shells can spawn in there as well. I don't like looting this room because I don't think it yields good enough profit most of the time. And we're gonna op open up the Orbi BK Mark room. So in this case, we found a TX5000, or sorry, a T5000. Inside here, you can find gold chains or chainlets in the in the couch. Random streamer items on the table. Good ammunition on the floor or filters, as we found there as well. And this is where the route changes a bit. So we would normally go straight over to uh, King from this area, but we're actually going to head towards White Bishop again. I wouldn't recommend running straight through the courtyard, but we're doing so just for the sake of the video here. Might not be safe to do this. I would run maybe in behind uh, Black Bishop for a bit of extra protection. And then we're going to go into White Bishop. Inside here you've got random loose medical items like a splint, salewas, painkillers. Uh, you can get golden stars. Again, I like to loot the rucksacks. Ifax. Other loose items can be found all around the the area. Got a weapon spawn inside here. Weapon case spawn, sorry. Uh, you got good ammo out of spawns on this box right here. And money spawn on the table. Another weapon case spawn. And we're going to move on down to the bottom here. We got intel that spawns in this table right here. Loot the rucksack if you wish. You've got assortment of... And moving on over to the right hand side, you have other medical spawns inside here. A uh, medical case. And once you're done, we can head back up to the second floor. Loose medical items in each of these rooms can be found. However, our main concern is this room right here, which is Orbi SMP. You can find LEDXs on our A LEDX spawn right here and this middle shelf. I have never found it before, but you can. Ibuprofen or Golden Star or Ophthalmoscopes can spawn here as well. 
You can also get CMS kits, survival kits, etc. Uh, other other random uh, health items here. And once you're done looting this room, we can head down. And head into King. This building right here. And we're going to head into the front server room or main server room as some people call it. You can get bulbs, you can get graphics cards, other high tier uh, tactical or military spawns. Make sure you look at the back room as well. Graphics cards can spawn up on this stack right here. And as a bit of variety, we can actually use the back exit to go into the back server room. You can find the HEPA filters or the large nine slot filters uh, on this shelf right here as well, which are about 250k. So if you have a backpack in with you, or if you've killed a scab and he has a backpack, you can take that out with you. Inside here, you've got graphics card spawns and other military spawns. Check, check these shelves right here. Check these shelves as well. These server stacks, should I say. And once you're done looting this room, we're going to head towards the dome. And this is the reason why we need the Red Rebel and the Paracord Extract. So there are two more buildings to loot up by dome, which I think are definitely worth it. We're going to sprint up the hill. Again, pay attention to the dome. There could be people up there sniping. You often find them either in the dome or lying down uh, at the edges of these of this building at the top here. And then we're going to open up this key right here, which is Orby KPRL. Inside here, you've got an Intel spawn on top of the, the safe right there. You have a key card spawn inside this small little lockbox. So I like to loot both the safes. Safe behind us as well. And you have keys that can spawn on this shelf right here. You got a small lockbox right here, a weapon case, and another lockbox right here. So they can spawn weapon attachments. Once you're done, come into the other smaller, the other, well, it's the same size, sorry, the other hood. And loot the other safe inside here. It looks like we got a new item. This is the new Veritas item, or Veritas item. Very nice. So, you can level your search skill by searching these cabinets if you wish as well. And loot the, the computer as well if you wish. Once you're finished, come down to the back and you can extract here using the Red Rebel. As long as you don't have body armor on. But you can also run this run with body armor and a big backpack and just stick your body armor in there. Or you can run it with an armor tactical rig and not need to stick the ammo back in. But again, guys, that is it. That is the entire run. As you can see, it's very profitable and also very quick to do. You can do this run multiple times a day if you want to get money. Uh, as long as you get a couple of those high tier items, you're going to be making a lot of money per raid. So that is pretty much the runs. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please make sure you drop a like. Maybe also if you consider subscribing, that would help me out greatly as well. I do stream over on Twitch in case you want to check me out live and ask some questions. Twitch.tv uh, forward slash Nesty GG. Hope to see you guys over there. Uh, if you do wish to come over and give me drop a follow. I do stream most days after around 6 p.m. GMT. So hope to see you guys over there. Take care and goodbye.